Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. This is the second segment of episode three. First thing I want to talk about is cell phones. Uh, I had a friend ask if he can buy a cell phone from me, which was a touch screen, by the way. And told me, yeah, but then I was kind of regretting it, but I'm like, you know what? I fucking... I hate touch screens. Let's just say that. They are shit phones. But they can do a lot. That's the only thing that I like about them. Like, they got apps. You can do cool stuff on the internet. And the internet's much better than this type of phone. I love this phone because it's just reliable. Like, it worked for me. See? Flip open. It's pretty badass, isn't it? Anyways. Well, with phones, my only issue is this. Services. I can't stand Verizon. Everyone talks about Verizon. Never had it, that's all I can say. I've only had Cricket and I just couldn't stand Cricket, but it was a phone, so I didn't care. I was young at the time. And then my dad took that off and he bought me an AT&T phone and I had AT&T. Ever since then, I've loved AT&T. I've never had any problems with it. But now I'm just so irritated hearing people say Verizon's better. Verizon is not better. Let me tell you that. I've heard friends tell me, like, oh, this service sucks compared to AT&T. I'm like, yeah, and Verizon has better phones. whoop de freaking do dude. Like, freaking at and is coming out with better phones. And most people don't know it, but, like, with the issue with the PSP phone, yeah, Verizon's not carrying that. AT&T is. And let me tell you something right now. The PSP phone is something that was going to... It's going to take the nation by storm. More than the droid did. That's all I can say. And, of course, we got people out there that are going to just be like, no, it's not. And, like, I just hear a lot of people talk so much crap. A, the PSP phone isn't really meant to play games. It's more meant to be a phone from Sony. And we hear a lot of people now saying PS3 is much better. No, PS3 sucks ass. I've had this argument before. Sony is unreliable, but I do trust their PS2. I loved it. I loved the PSP. In my personal opinion, PSP is the greatest system ever. It is like the one thing I'll ever love, besides Nintendo 64. But out of all that stuff, the PSP is not really meant to play games. Yeah, you can still play games because in general it is a PSP, but like, I don't care about a PS3. I want something that's handheld. I can watch thousands of movies. And, like, I can take whatever word. It doesn't freeze and break because it's a freaking touchscreen. Sorry, I just had to yell that because, like, people just don't get it. Now I gotta put glasses on because I can't see what I'm doing. And, of course, like I said, light reflection. You may not agree with what I just said, any of it, but that's just my personal opinion. And, in my opinion, I'm right. Which, a lot of people will, like to put out there, like, Tony, you think you're right all the time. Maybe I am. That's bullshit too, obviously. Uh, I'd like to talk about books right now. Take this chance to tell you some good books you should read. A lot of students in high school don't read, which I understand why it took a while for me to actually get into the spirit of reading. But reading is really awesome, and it can actually get you places, and it's just, it's something you want to look at. Trust me. Reading, like, I don't know. It depends what kind of books you're in. A lot of people, I can get them into any book I pick. So, you know, I'll be sitting next to some dude or some girl, and I'll be like, what are you reading? And they'll be like, oh, I'm reading this book, and it's, believe it or not, it's like the Hunger Games or something. They can't even get into that. I understand why I couldn't get into the Hunger Games. It's a good story, yeah, I just, it wasn't approachable for me. <laughs> so then I'll tell them, like, do you read anything else? I'm like, no, I'm like, well, read some Stephen King, he's a good author, some Dennis Lane, he's got some good books. So then I'll let them borrow a book, which I normally never, inter I just never see it again, but they do end up reading some of that book and they like it. And I'm like, see, I told you, it's a really good book. But if I were to, one book I could save that I would just dedicate right now that you should read, it's called The Dark Arena by Mario Puzo. I'm reading it, well, I have read it twice, reading it again because it's that good. It's about a soldier by the name of Walter. He um, comes back from World War II to a girlfriend that's waiting for him, to a family that's been waiting for him. He's gone for like three, four years. And he's he's different. A lot of things don't mean too much to him. He's sleeping around with other girls because his girlfriend won't sleep with him. And he just, basically, when they're all arguing with him and telling him that he's being different, he just tells him, hey, you can kiss my ass. Then he goes back to Germany because, see, he had slept with a woman there in Germany that has his kid. So that's kind of why he goes back to start a life there. And then he starts undergoing the stress of people there not liking him. Ugh, it's a really good book, but 
I could say, you know, if you're interested in other books, read shit like Stephen King and Dennis Lane. Good books. James Patterson, I'm not really into anymore. I used to, but ever since he wrote those Max, what the hell are they called? Maximum Ride or whatever, all those stuff. I just, I haven't been able to get into them. It's been like something I can't do. And of course the computer's going to be being stupid again. Life, that's life for you. Well, anyways, besides books, uh, I'd like to talk about movies now. Movies that I've really paid attention to. Even though I talked about movies earlier, just shh, let me tell you, okay? A lot of movies I'm really interested in lately are horror movies, which I used to be interested in when I was little, but I really love them now, even though they're crap. I'll, I'll admit that they suck. They're all the same thing, mainly. But I would have to say I am really looking forward to Scream 4. I really am. I'm a huge like lover of Scream 1 and 2, not 3. I said 1 and 2. 3 was terrible. It was trash. Which was mainly that I was like, damn, they need to make a fourth one to make up for it. Or remake the third one, or prequel, or whatever. Which is what Wes Craven did. He made the fourth one. Which in a way is good, because you got all these remakes, and it's, it's terrible. And see, because Halloween 3, which was supposed to be Halloween 3D, is no longer in session, what they're going to do is they're going to do what's called a reboot. Now, it's meant to look like a sequel, but it's not. It's a remake, and it's going to be called... Uh, it's just going to be called Halloween 3D, because it's in 3D, but it's not Halloween Part 3. And the story takes place on an entirely different level. They don't tell you how Michael Myers became who he is. They don't mention any of the events from the last movies. They don't mention what time frame it is. It's just whatever they set it up for. And it's called Halloween 3D. And because back in the old days, Halloween 3 was originally called Halloween Season of the Witch, which had nothing to do with Michael Myers. Well, since they're going to direct a Halloween 3D film, they're also going to direct a film called Season of the Witch. Which is, it's the same thing about masks that kill people when they put them on, which is kind of a dumb story, but if you don't consider it part of Halloween, it's a good movie. But they're going to make that into a movie too, and I think those are going to come out at the same time. Halloween 3D and Season of the Witch will come out, I mean. But yeah, that's a big argument too. People say that there never was a Halloween 3D because there couldn't have been one with that shitty movie. First off, yes, it was a crappy movie, but it's a cult classic. You can't argue with that. I mean, it had nothing to do with Michael Myers, but it had good actors. Those are all actors from John Carpenter movies. And if you just didn't consider it a part of Halloween, it's a great movie. But whatever with that. There's supposed to be another Mission Impossible coming out, and speaking of Tom Cruise, there's another Top Gun coming out, which I don't really... I don't know, I didn't really like the first one, and everyone says that's his best movie. I, I didn't find any interest in it. Oh, um, okay. I'm pretty sure this is already a nationwide thing, but I had just learned what a stoner burger is. And my brother told me it's like a, it's a chicken sandwich, a spicy chicken sandwich from McDonald's with a cheeseburger, and you put them together. Wow, amazing. Like, seriously, I bought like four of them, probably. I don't know. I'm a fat kid, okay? I eat. It's what I do. Uh, speaking of food, I had to watch a movie called Food Incorporated in Miss Flanagan's creative writing class. Uh, yeah, it was a good movie, but like, everyone in there was like, oh my god, I can't watch the hurt animals, I'm an animal lover. You know what, I love animals too, but if it's something I can eat, I'm gonna eat it. If it looks good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna devour the bastard. Seriously, that movie just told you about what's in your food. Yeah, I know what's in my food, but then again, I really don't want to know what's happening to my food. Because I'm going to eat whatever it is, probably. I mean, I really hate liver and onions. I just fucking hate onions and peppers. Can't stand that kind of shit. But I love Italian food. That was totally off track. But, like, I love any kind of food, and I really don't want to know what's going on with my food and what's in it. And that's what that movie was all about. But it was funny watching girls freak out and be like, Oh, that, that's, that's so sad. That That's terrible. That was a pretty good game impersonation. Don't bullshit me with that one. But, um... Uh, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, it's just funny like seeing people freak out about it. Especially because that movie has a lot to do with how fast food restaurants, which by the way, shut up. Don't say fast food is gross, it is good. By the, like, you know, it just tells you the truth about fast food places and what they do to their food, where they get it from, how farmers are abused, but still good movie and you wanna know what I did after I watched it? I went straight to McDonald's right down the street by Bell Creek. 
That's just, it's what I did. Like, I love movies like that. Super Size Me, what, a good movie. Also, you gotta see a movie called Super High Me. That's pretty funny, too. And, yeah, it's about marijuana. Good stuff, good stuff. But like I said, sorry for shouting and putting my opinion out there, but in my opinion, and personally in a lot of people's opinions, fast food does not suck. Like, come on, how could you not like it? It tastes good. There's a kid out there. I'm gonna mention his name right now. Eric Tostado, you know who you are. And I'm talking about you right now. You're my good friend, man, but you're the one person I hear that says McDonald's sucks. Or that food, fast food sucks. Dude, you are high. I know it's because you're a sports person and all that, but dude, seriously. How could you not like fast food? It's good. I'm just using you as an example. Bro, you're awesome. I would like to dedicate that part to you, Eric Tostado. Make sure when you see him at school the next few days, you pat him on the back and say Tony talked about you on his web show. What is with this computer? Okay, well, that is really all I have to say for this segment. I guess one more thing I should say is this. I will be doing more episodes. I won't make you guys wait on me for like two months, which was a long time. Guest or no guest, I'll end up making a show. I'll come up with new things to talk about, and I would like you to tell me what you want me to talk about. You want me to mention you in your personal life, or maybe like an event that happened, you forgot your homework or something. All you gotta do is email me a message on Facebook, or text me if you have my number, or make me a video response. Now, I'm gonna end this with another part that has to do with the video response. I got a question for everybody. If you were gonna die, it doesn't really matter how, what would be three things you would do before you were going to die? That's a touchy subject, I know. But, like, I'll just say my part right now. After I see how much time I got left. Okay, we're good. Three things I would do. I would light up a marijuana joint. Because, come on, I want to. I would totally drink. I'd down a thing of whiskey. And I'd smoke a cigar. Why? Because those are three things that no one really likes to do. Marijuana probably scratches that off the list. But those are really things that you wouldn't really want to do in your life unless you're going to have fun or maybe you're just too young and you think it's stupid. But, like, that's three things that you really don't do unless you do it all the time and you don't count. But I would totally do that. Be like, light them up, we're going to die. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe I just did that. And then freaking drink. But, like, that's what I would do. Three things you would do, please tell me with a video response or a comment in the freaking boxing below. Email me on my Yahoo or email me on my Facebook account since I have a bunch of them. Or just text me, ask for my number, or talk to me at school. Please let me know because it's something I want to talk about. Please watch my videos because they're going to keep coming. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Oh, and if you have anything wrong with what I'm saying, it's nothing directed towards you. It's not meant, I'm not talking about anyone in particular, but if you got a problem with anything I said, it's plain and simple. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, please do me a favor, play hide and go fuck yourself. Now, put my glasses on. This, thank you. The Shibang, number one, right?